In this example, we are being asked to calculate the equivalent resistance of the resistor ladder shown here. So how do we do that? Well, this circuit kind of combines everything that we've done. It has a bit of parallel here and there, and it also has a bit of a series here and there. But then how do we approach it? Well, we can start from anywhere really, but we're going to choose to start from, from this end. So we're going to start from, we're going to start with these three resistors. So if we look at these three, let me highlight just the three. So if we look at these three resistors, what we notice is that these three resistors are connected in one line. So they are connected in series. So these three are connected in series with each other. So we're going to be doing this one step at a time. So step one, let's just focus on those three resistors. If we look at those three, three, these three resistors, they are in series. So their combination is just going to be that's the sum. So to these three, we have just two ohms plus two ohms plus two ohms. So the total for those three is just going to be six ohms. So with this figured out, we can redraw our circuit so that now we only have six ohms where we have these three resistors. So our circuit, which had one resistor here, another resistor here, and this is going to those three. It also had one resistor here coming down, then one more and another here. This was connected. We had one resistor right on the middle. Okay, so this part now, where we were going to those three resistors, instead of having those three, now we're going to put a six ohm resistor where we had those three. So this is a combination of those three resistors because they are, because they are in series. Okay, so this is still two ohms, two ohms, two ohms here. And here. So this just represents these three since they're in series. Next, we now want to combine. Next, we can now combine these two here. If we look at these two, these two can be seen to be in parallel with each other. So since they are in parallel, we can combine them accordingly. So for parallel, we recall to say that the total resistance for a parallel connection, since there are two resistors, we we'll only have the first one. We can take two ohms to be the first one plus one over six ohms. So from here, we want to find what RRT is going to be. So single fraction, we're going to have six plus two over So we're going to have over 12. So this is just one over RRT equal to eight over 12, or we can write this as two over three. So if we, if we make RRT, take it in the numerator, we end up with three over two ohms as the total resistance there. So if we are to withdraw our circuit now with these three put together what we see is that now what we have is from the source our first resistor still untouched then this resistor here is still untouched and then down here again we have this resistor still untouched untouched still intact but now here where we had uh, those two resistors here we had the six ohms somewhere here and apart from that we had the two ohms here so instead of having these two now we're just going to have the combination of these two so instead of having those two we're going to have the effective resistance of those two so let me put it in red so that we can distinguish what it is so here now we're just going to have that effective resistance of those two, so which is three over two ohms. Everywhere else, we still have the two ohms here, two ohms here, two ohms here, two ohms, and two ohms here. 
with these combined again we realize that if if we continue these three again are now in series so these three are in series so they can be combined so here to combine those the total resistance since it is series we're going to have two ohms plus three over two plus two ohms so this becomes four plus three over two which will be eight plus three over two and this gives us 11 over 2 ohms so we can redraw our circuit again so that these can be expressed as just one resistor they equivalent the total resistance there and we end up with from the source so from the source this one going to that com combined resistance So instead of having those three, now we're just going to have the combination. So the combination again, we found this was 11 over 2 ohms. This is still 2 ohms. This is still 2 ohms. And this is still 2 ohms. So again, at this point, we again notice that these are now in parallel to one another. So they can be combined accordingly. So you can again say 1 over R total for parallel, 1 over 2, the first plus 1 over 11 over 2. So this becomes 1 over RT equal to 1 over 2 plus this becomes 2 over 11. So again, single fraction. So this becomes 22. And then this is going to be 11 plus 4. So that we have 15 over 22. Then here we still have 1 over RT. So again, make take RT in the numerator. We end up with RT equal to 22 over 15 ohms. So we have combined these two and we get 15 over, that's 22 over 15 ohms. So with that figured out, we withdraw our circuit again. So now, lastly, almost done, we have the first one. This is still 2 ohms. And then down here, we still have that 2 ohms. But now here, we're putting that combined resistance, that 22 over 15 ohms. Once this is done, now, lastly, we notice that these are in series again, the three of them. So we can combine them. So finally, the total resistance for the entire circuit will be the 2 plus the 2 plus the 22 over 15. So let's see what we get. We have 4 plus 22 over 15. So let's see what we get. Common denominator, that's 15. So we have 15 by, by 4, that's 60. Then plus 22, so we have 82 over 15. So the total resistance, RT, comes out as 82 over 15 ohms.